The next gentleman, three-time winner, the World's 100. He was the first man to ever win it back-to-back, -back, none other than Jeff Purvis. Welcome back to the World's 100. Thanks. We're really, uh, we're really glad to be here. I, I top this hill every year and see all these campers and get really excited, and it's just a real th treat to be here. Jeff, you have virtually won every major race in the country. How's come you're so good? <laughs> I don't really know that I am. I've got a lot of good equipment. I've got a lot of good people behind me. Uh, you're only as good as the help that you've got or the people around you. That's that's always, I think in any case, any sport, you're always as, you're only as good as your team. Um, I've had a lot of good people working with me through the years, and, you know, we work hard. We don't, we don't sit around and we don't loaf, and, but we have our bad times, too. You know, a lot of people see the good times, but there's a lot of them that remember the bad times. Jeff, your record here at the World's 100 is incredible. First year you came down, 1982, you ran second. In that race, you probably would have won it, but you had a hood come loose. They pulled you in the pits, corrected the hood, you came out, you had to start on the tail, and you still came back and finished second. The next year you came back, 1983, you won. You came back in 84, you won again. In 1985, you were second. 1986, you won again. 1987 was your worst finish ever. It was eighth last year you finished second. Should we maybe rename this race the Jeff Purvis World 100? No, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't do that. This this track has been good to me. This When I come in here and look at this track, it doesn't look like a track that I would run good at. Every year I come here, I say that. It just, it, uh, it just, I don't know, it's big, it's fast, it's got a lot of corners to it. I usually don't run good with a lot of corners, but the track's been pretty good to me. I, I don't, I, I've not even been back. And I'm, I'm really honest with this. I've never been back with the same setup twice. So, you know, I, through the year I struggle and try to find something that works pretty good for me. And then I bring whatever the best setup is that I've found through the year, you know, here. And, and uh, the car last night, the car that I had second fast time with, really, it really took the track good. When I got to the middle of the corner, I was mad at myself because I didn't drive the car as hard as what I thought it should. But I've been having a little bit of fuel problems and... Just a little bit of odds and ends that we've been working on ever since we've been here. And maybe we can get the car running pretty good when it comes race time. Well, Jeff, kind of a contrast in racing strategy. Scott Bloomquist was just up here. He says he has his car set up right to the nut the way he ran last year. You, on the other hand, come and say you change the setup every year. Well, I think... I think even earlier, okay, earlier we, when I came here, we ran the wedge cars and uh, with the sideboards, and that took a little bit different setup. And then each year it's changed a little bit. You know, he's come back twice with the, you know, the same body style, same pretty much everything. And it was fast for him last year. He ran good with it all year. He ran good through the year with it this year. And, you know, he's comfortable with that setup. Maybe we're just getting to the setup that he's, you know, been running a little bit with. Um, you know, we'd like I say, we've just we've come with so many different. You know, we've been to Eldora a few times now, and and it's changed through the years. And I just think that the setup that I had last year, the one I've got this year, is even a little bit better. So that's the reason I keep coming back with a different setup every year. Well, Jeff, you have a unique situation. You've got two race cars. You had second quick time. You could save that car, not have to run your heat, start in 20th spot. You also have a car in the fifth heat, which gives you the outside front row. What are you going to do? Well, it's, I'm going to take the first car, and I'm going to run it as hard as I can. If I can get in the race with the first car, I'm going to take that. Um, the fifth heat that I'm in, the best thing to remember, there's some, there's some pretty good ones in front of you, which... The second heat, there's some good ones in front of you, but uh, my shot, my shot didn't really look good in the fifth heat. With you know, there's a lot of there's, I think there's a past winner of this World 100 a time or two in here with me, and uh, it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to make it through that right there. But if I don't make it with the first car, I'm gonna come back and try it in the second car. And if 
If I have to, I'll take my, I think I've got a provisional start from a second fast time, and I'll take that. I'll take whatever shot I can to get in. Larry Moore's your hero. Why'd you pick Larry Moore? Because he's sitting back here and he's a big mean son of a gun? No, I, I tell him every time I see him. Every time I walk through the pits, I tell him that. He won't listen to me. Maybe it's, maybe it's I like his wife better than him or something. I don't know. He's... Uh, <laughs>